One of the great limitations of AMOS is that it can't properly provide a way to analyze interactions. This limitation makes it inadequate for analyzing a full path model that includes interactions. For this reason, you might choose instead to use software like M+. In M+, if you have a model like this, where empowerment is the moderator, feedback is the predictor, and so you multiply them to create an interaction to predict job satisfaction, M+, will produce what are called Johnson-Neiman plots through code like this, and then produce not only the estimates, but also produce the plots that show for what values the interaction or the moderator has an effect. I've made another video about how to interpret these plots. The problem is Amos can't do this, or at least it couldn't until now. My research assistant, Matt James, has created another plugin that allows you to create Johnson Neiman plots in Amos. As usual, you can get it from the StatWiki. Just go to the plugins info page, click on the link to the Google Drive folder for plugins and estimands, open up the 24 or higher folder, and then there it is, jn.dll. Download this like usual, unblock it, stick it in the right folder. For me, that folder is here. Users, username, app data, local, Amos development, Amos 25, and plugins. For you, this username will be different, but everything else should be about the same. Once you have it installed, you can apply it to an interaction model in Amos. So in this case, same model as we showed for M+. Um, where you have job satisfaction as the dependent variable, the interaction is feedback times empowerment, and then the predictor is feedback, and the moderator is empowerment. Now in Amos, since we can't write the syntax to define the plot, we have to just select the variables and parameters of interest. So in this case, we're going to select the interaction, the covariance between the interaction and the independent variable, not the moderator. The moderator in this case is empowerment, We'll select the path from the interaction to the dependent variable and the path from the independent variable to the dependent variable. So these four items, the path, the path, the covariance, and the interaction. Once we've done that, go to Plugins, JN Plot Analysis. It will ask if you've selected the correct elements. I'm going to say yes, and then it produces the plot, along with the values and an interpretation. So in this case, notice the p-value is 0.2, and the effect is 0.044. However, the interpretation is that although there was a non-significant effect with this p-value, we may still consider moderation to be present because y does not equal 0 for any values of x within the confidence intervals within the relevant range of x values. What this really means is, if you were to plot 0 here, y equals 0, which is right down here, this line, it does not fall within the confidence intervals at any point between negative and positive 1. Therefore, this moderator is potent for all values of x within that relevant range, which means we do have an interaction, despite the p-value being non-significant. This is the same thing you'll see over in M+. Notice these values, 0 0.044, p-value 0.2, crossing this line crossing the y-axis around, what is that, 0.125 or so? As with the other, 0 0.044, p-value of 0 0.2, 0 0.199, pretty close, and this crossing the y-axis around 0 0.12. So these are identical plots, nearly identical estimates, as you would get in M+. I hope this is helpful. This does remove one of the greatest limitations of Amos, now making it usable for interaction analysis. Enjoy!